Hi I'm Monk and this is The Monk Way. Finding the perfect stock is not an easy task, but we can use a simple guide to value a stock quickly, we'll do this with a few ratios. This is the exact method I use to quickly value a company, using this guide, anyone can pick a winning stock, subscribe and hit that bell for more stock valuation videos. I make them every day, and leave a like if you learned something. Once you have a company you might be interested in buying, we can use a few ratios to see how much of a value they are. We have to use these ratios because a company's stock price doesn't tell us if they're a good value. For example, Google might be worth $1,000, and AMD might be only $15. Does this mean Google is 66 times as expensive as AMD? No, because we have to compare the price of the stock to how much the company is making in profits. When we buy a stock, we're buying the company itself. For a good deal, you want a company making good profits compared to their price. A $1,000 company making $1,000 a year is a great deal. A $15 company making $1 a year is no good, even though each stock is much cheaper. This is why ratios are needed, we can't judge a stock's worth by their price. The first and most important number is the price to earnings ratio, telling us how much a company is earning in profits, compared to the company's price, a simple calculation, using Apple as an example. The price of one stock is $180, then we divide that by the earnings per share. This just means how much profit they earned in the past year, but per one share of that company. So if they made 50 million a year but had 5 million stocks, that's $10 earned per one share. 180 divided by an earnings per share of 10 is 18. A P-E ratio of 18 means Apple's price is 18 times what they earned in profits. They have a price of $180 per piece of Apple, and each piece made $10 last year. So the price is 18 times what they made in profits. When buying a company, we want as much profits as possible, this is why the P-E ratio is the first number to use. To determine a good P-E ratio, we can compare it to the average of American stocks. Finding the P-E ratio of the S&P 500 will tell us the average, those 500 companies combined has a P-E ratio of 25, this is pretty high right now so stocks are expensive. Historically a P-E of 15 is a good average, let's look at a few popular stocks to see how it compares to 25. Facebook is at 33, so we're paying 33 times what Facebook earned in the past year. 33 is higher than 25 so we can see they're more expensive than the average stock. Apple is only 18, so they earned $1 for every $18 we're paying. This is lower than the average of 25, a good deal. Amazon is really high at 215, this is 9 times the average, this means they made 9 times less profits compared to the average. They made $1 for every $215 we're paying. So if their stock price was $215 for one share, that one share only made you $1 in the past 12 months. Not a great deal at all, but we can see why people are still buying this in the next ratio. Netflix is even higher at 273, meaning they're even more expensive than Amazon. And Google is 49, about double the average PE ratio. This means the average stock earned twice as much as Google compared to their stock price. As you can see, just this one number can tell us a lot about a company's value. If it's under 25, it's a good value, and if it's over 25, it's more expensive than the average stock right now. But you can't value a stock with one number so let's look at the second ratio, the price to sales ratio. Instead of comparing the price to the earnings of a company, we compare it to the revenue. Revenue is money made before any expenses. For example an iPhone costs you $1000, that's the revenue, but Apple only keeps $500 after the costs of making that iPhone. 500 is the earnings or profit, the revenue will tell us if a company is still making good money, even if they're not keeping much of it in the profits. Stocks like Amazon and Netflix uses a lot of their profits to reinvest into new content. This means a low price to earnings ratio but a normal price to sales ratio. To get this ratio, we can use Apple as an example. The first part is the price of 180, divided by their revenue per share, which is 50 per share, we get 3.6. Apple made $1 before any costs, for every $3.06 we paid, the average PS ratio is 2.2 right now. Let's go back to the FANG stocks to see which is a value. Facebook is 13.19, much higher than 2.2, so we're paying a premium for what they made in revenue. Apple is 3.6, not bad but still higher than average. Amazon is 4.3, close to Apple, even though they don't keep much profits, they still make a lot of money. This might explain why the stock keeps going up. Netflix is on 13.91, very high just like Facebook. And Google is also high on 6.8. You want to use this ratio if a company isn't profitable. If a company doesn't have a PE ratio, we can see if they have good revenue in the PS ratio. But this also means it's more risky, because you wouldn't want to buy a company without profits, unless you think they will profit in the future, until then, you want a healthy stream of revenue coming in. Those two ratios tells us how much money is coming in. The next two will give us an idea of how much cash they have in their books or company. The price to book ratio compares the price of a stock to how much equity per share they have. Equity is pure money they have after debts are paid off. 
like the previous ratios, we divide that number by the number of shares, for Apple at $180, dividing by their book value of 25, and we get a price to book ratio of 7.2. This means they have $1 for every $7.02 we paid for them. So buying an Apple stock for $180, that share has $25 of worth if the company sold everything tomorrow. The more worth they have, the safer the stock. If Apple had a price to book ratio of 1, they could pay off every investor if the company went down tomorrow. The average is 3.3 right now, the lower the better. Facebook is 7.6, double the average so not the best amount of worth in the company. Apple is 7.3, also pretty high. Amazon is really high at 26.3, because they don't keep much profits in their company. Netflix is similar at 44.1, not keeping profits. Google is the lowest at 5, so Google has the most value in their company compared to their price. And the last ratio we can use for a quick valuation is the debt to equity ratio. Telling us how much debt a company has, we're combining a company's short and long-term debt and comparing it to the equity, which is money after debts are paid. Apple has 122 billion of debt, and 134 billion of equity, dividing 122 by 134, we have a ratio of 0.91, you want this number to be low, so a company has less debts, below 1 is a good ratio, Facebook has no debt so a DE ratio of 0, this is a great sign. Apple is 0.96, not bad but could be lower, Amazon is on 1.41, this is too high for my liking, Netflix is high on 1.62, and Google is very low on 0.03, meaning Facebook and Google both have very low debt, a company with too much debt could see more instability and be higher risk, a number under 0.5 is a good sign when looking at this ratio. Combining all these ratios will give you an idea of a company's value, you should compare companies in the same sector like comparing Apple to Microsoft, or Walmart to Costco. Just looking at 5 companies in the same sector and seeing which has the lowest numbers is a good start, price to earnings ratio to see their profits, under 25 being a value right now, price to sales ratio to see how much revenue they're making, under 2.2 being a good value, price to book ratio tells you how much money they have, under 3.3 being great, and finally see how much debt they have in the debt to equity ratio, under 0.5 being good. Do this the next time you're thinking of buying a company, the lower the numbers, the cheaper the stock, remember, the stock price has pretty much no relation to the actual value of the stock. Once you have the basics down, there are other numbers that tell you more specific things, numbers such as the return on equity, return on assets, forward PE, profit margin, current ratio and many more, I'll be covering all those numbers in future videos so keep watching, but the basics are all you need to pick a value, with the more in-depth numbers if you want more information. These are the exact ratios I use in my stock market group. I show you guys every buy or sell in the market with my $200,000 portfolio, nobody is perfect at picking stocks but I'm a swing trader who looks into valuation over anything else. This leads to safer picks, that over time, should all come out in the green, recent winners include Best Buy at 7% profit, PayPal at 6% profit, Adobe at 2.7% in under a week, there's 5 new stocks in my portfolio that might go up like crazy soon, look in the description for a 50% off coupon, it's open until we have 300 members and there's only a few spots left. Subscribe and hit that bell for more stock market videos. I make them every day to teach you something new, and leave a like if you learned something today. Keep watching to learn about stock value, the monk way.